Are you a potential home buyer shopping for a home or have you found that right house and you're ready to start your loan process? Either way, I'm going to show you how to shop for your loan, how to do it right, and how to get the fees and the interest rate necessary so that you can make a great decision on your home purchase. This is Don Connors at Mortgage One. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my videos if you find these useful. So let's get started. So there are so, there's so much that goes into shopping for an interest rate that I thought doing a video and breaking it down would be really useful. And it goes beyond the interest rate and the fees. I know those are extremely important. However, the first place you want to start is integrity. Is the company that you're working for and is the loan officer that you're working with a person of integrity and a company of integrity? Do they get back to you in a timely manner? Do they follow up with you? Are they responsive to your questions? Do they quote you payments as you need them? Are they providing pre-approval letters on a timely basis to yourself and to your real estate agent? Because there's nothing more frustrating in this process than trying to get a hold of your lender, your real estate agent yourself, and you can't get in touch with them, you can't get your updated pre-approval letters, you can't get your questions answered, and all the while the house is multiple offers and you lose the house because you haven't had a very communicative loan officer. You don't want that to happen. So in your search, you want to make sure that you find somebody that really does a good job with communication and also is timely in their responses to you and is available in the evenings and is available on the weekends. So you'll want to ask those questions. In addition, a person that's responsive is going to be able to close your loan on time because 65% of loan officers do not close their loans on time. They oftentimes don't even get their loans to the closing table, and then that causes all kinds of debunk, right? Because you could have the best interest rate on the planet, but then not get to the closing table, and that is infuriating, I'm sure. So some important questions to ask. When you're doing your shopping for your loan, you're gonna to wanna to shop on the same exact day. Why is that? Because very interest rates change and they vary day by day, sometimes from morning to afternoon. So preferable, Preferably, you would do your shopping from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. would be another option so that you have the same span of time for your interest rate quotes. So choose three lenders. You'll, you, wanna, you can use someone like your bank or credit union. You also choose a second lender. And then your third one, you always want to make sure that you have a mortgage company, an independent mortgage company, local lender, or broker. The reason for this is because those individuals can shop your loan against different platforms. They will look at banks and different various mortgage companies to get you the best interest rate. So you're going to want to use a broker of some sort or a correspondent mortgage lender. So get your three comparisons. And what you want to do is you want to ask them for three different interest rates. So get, get your pen and paper out. You're going to want to ask them what is their par interest rate? What is their interest rate without any discount points at all? What is their interest rate with one point? And then what is their interest rate with two points? And so um, you'll grid that out on paper. So you're going to have three different lenders. You're going to have three different interest rates. And that'll help you see what the various interest rates are with the various closing costs. And then secondly, along with points, there's what's called origination fees. And you want to know what the total origination fees that their company is charging. So that is box A on the loan estimate, box A. So you just simply ask, what are the total for your origination charges? I think ours are about $1,000. So that includes our application and processing fee and underwriting fee, everything included. So you'll want to know that in advance so that you can get that documented and you can do your comparison shopping. So once you have this, these notated out, you have them on paper, then you can look across the board and you can say, okay, well, I really like this loan officer. They have a lot of integrity and I can tell that they're trustworthy and they're getting back to me on a timely matter and their fees are $200 more and their interest rates are the same. Then you can decide, is that $200 difference in fees worth having that extra service? And I would say in most cases, yes. So you absolutely don't want to always go with the lowest. You want to go with a good combination of good fees, good rates, and excellent service because that is what's going to get you closed and into your house. Because at the end of the day, most people are overbidding on houses right now. They're offering a lot of money for houses. It's expensive to buy a home. It's well worth it. It's a big investment. And you want to make sure you do it right. And you're not just looking for the cheapest. You're looking for the best quality service as well. This is Don Connors at Mortgage One providing you fantastic mortgage solutions. Happy home shopping. Happy loan shopping. And I look forward to maybe being one of those persons that gives you that quote. Thank you and have an amazing day.